37 year old Cheryl Dudley of St. Peter's is facing several charges, including endangering the welfare of a child and child abuse. This could have been a much worse situation. This could have been a situation that uh, had deadly consequences, tragic consequences. So. But St. Charles County prosecuting attorney Tim Lomar says thanks to a concerned neighbor, that wasn't the case. The neighbor called police after noticing something unusual. The child was on the rope harness and she was running from the garage towards the street. So that caught the neighbor's attention. When officers arrived to Dudley's home on Cave Springs Estates Drive, they found a loaded rifle inside her 22-month-old daughter's crib. They also found narcotics on a dresser, and that wasn't all. The 22-month-old child had some bruises um, on one of her legs, up and down her leg, which was consistent with uh, child abuse. Investigators say the home was also in bad shape. There was feces throughout the house, uh, dishes and uh, food that had been sitting for uh, quite some time. Mold had gathered. It was a really unsanitary situation. No child deserves to be in that type of situation. Natasha Onore lives near Dudley. I have two kids of my own and I couldn't imagine them being in that type of situation or that environment at that. But it's shocking that's, you know, just right down the street to know what was going on. Erica Onore says Dudley's toddler and seven-year-old son were often unsupervised. Just seeing the kid riding around the neighborhood by himself you know, makes me want to look back and say, oh, I should have called and said, you know, there's a kid riding around the neighborhood by himself. Wish you would have called and something would have been done sooner, but I'm glad somebody did.